Guys, they will show you perhaps one of the best Diablo 4 season 4 builds in the game right now. Not only for Barbarian, but for the whole freaking game. Because at level 50, you can carry teammate and complete tier 4 Nightmare Dungeon or Capstone. Tier 4 Capstone. Easy! Somebody! Guys, it got laughable, if I have to be honest with you. In week 1 I leveled up Necro and Sork, in week 2 I'm leveling up Barbarian and he is a bad mother lover. I am with 3 Paragon boards farming tier 70 Nightmare Dungeons. 3 Paragon boards! <laughs> I haven't spent 70 points. <laughs> I have 3 glyphs. And I'm at level 90, 92, 93. It's stupid. My gear is not leveled up at all, not tempered. I have added some extra attributes like increased DPS, but I haven't wasted any points from the pit to temper my gear or level it up or boost it. So it's pretty much ridiculous build. Although I have to say that I held all the correct aspects on my gear. Aspects are the end game ones, and this setup is not required. Uh, is not requiring any Ubers or anything like that to melt enemies. But before we continue with, uh, with the build guide, quick word from the sponsor, Deeming.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deeming.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens uh, pretty much instantly. If you will use my promo code RBD or RBD, you will receive 15% discount on absolutely all services. Amazing deal, especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate, drop your comment down below in the comment section or contact the operator. But now let's get back to this crazy setup. Guys, we are dealing ridiculous amount of damage and of course I am using my Tornado Twisters. They look, first of all, insane on the screen when they are popping up non-stop everywhere from our shouts for our uh, attacks but mainly since we're using leap we are proccing earthquake and when we are standing in the earthquake we are dealing more damage so how you want to approach the fight it's really simple you're gonna call your shouts leap basically you will cause earthquake stand in earthquake and then use your double swing skill and cast as many as uh, whirlwinds not whirlwinds but uh, tornadoes twisters as you want that's pretty much it and this is super quick setup you will run through the content extremely quick quickly because we are using charge we are using leap um, all we are closing gap between ourselves and enemies extremely rapidly and quickly and we are calling uh, shouts non-stop to again improve our movement ability guys airquake will help us a lot we're gonna deal a lot of damage it's absolutely nasty combination uh, to me yes i know that we have bash bar which is kind of strong uh, at pit right now but i think when i will level up this setup at the end of the day i will make it one of the best and strongest um, builds for sure just like i did with sorcerer last season uh right now i haven't done anything spectacular with this build but aspects the gear you can see right now without any ubers is what you want to use those are perfect aspects the setup is perfect then when i will get some unique ubers i will definitely change this build but as far as we talk about uh, talent combination and aspect combo i think that's it and i will leave link down below in description with full build guide how paragon board should look how skill tree should look and what gear you want to use when you are leveling up barb and at the end game and i think the barb actually is one of the coolest classes to run in season 4 i tried sork trust me barb is giving me much more fun right now but i will come back to sork a little bit later like i said i want to make frozen orb and blizzard setups there uh, so I have some unfinished business, baby. Butcher drops the mic. Stay safe. Love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.